Welcome back. Now, for the longest time, Ravy was the uh, the only female on the show. The mm-hmm. only female that worked on the show. That's right. And then uh, all of a sudden, man, it was like an invasive species. It's you like know, the like, Lilith yeah. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Lilith Fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, Sammy and Morgan came on board. Caroline uh, came on board. So now there are four ladies who work here on The Woody Show. And um, the questions for the fellas, I mean, you know, there's mm-hmm. just there's just so much more. Because right, it was like Ravy and her friends for the longest time. Right. And uh, now we have all, all these different ladies. Questions for the fellas. Who wants to start? So I've been watching a lot of sports lately. <laughs> lately? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. For like sure. so, four years. So yeah. the ads are not targeted at me. But I've been seeing this one ad, and it got me thinking. We know how Greg feels about it. He's injected himself with botulism, yes. right? But there is a m- cream that they're directly targeting men where they're saying it will help your droopy eyelids, it will help oh, your yeah. crow's feet. It's a big thing. Yeah. So I know you, Woody, menace, aversion to moisturizers. <laughs> <laughs> of any kind, yeah. Right. Like, would... So that got me thinking. Number one, would you consider, oh, look, my eyelids are kind of droopy. I'm going to start using this cream. No. And then two, Mm -hmm. do you think you'd ever consider like a plastic surgery for something like that? Uh, Okay. Number one, Harry's razors, you know how they have their line of Mm -hmm. different things. They have shampoos now and things like that. They had uh, this eye cream that I started using, but then my eyes started feeling weird. Okay. So, I so stopped, you tried it. I tried it, and it, it looked, were you using it correctly? I was using it, I believe, correctly. Because sometimes, you know, like yeah. eye creams, you got to be real careful where um, you put that. Yeah. Yeah. So I stopped using it, and I felt like at the time I was using it, it looked slightly better. I have really dark, right. deep, yes. saggy eyes. But the but I um, liked raccoons so much. <laughs> yeah, raccoons. <laughs> it looks like one. And. Uh, <laughs> So I stopped using that, but then the, the Rock came out with his skincare line that's okay. at Target, and a lot of people were talking about the eye cream stuff. I didn't even know the Rock had a skincare line. Yeah, <sighs> it's the it's, first time I'm it's huge, like end cap stuff. <laughs> but not coming, not coming from him, but from other people who are saying like, "Oh, actually, out of that thing, the yeah. eye cream stuff, mm-hmm. um, it's cool." I've I've used it for about a week now, so it hasn't really done anything. But when it comes to eye surgery, okay, I know uh, older men. Right. They they droop so much that it I, it affects their vision. Right, that you can't and, see. Mm-hmm. I get yeah, that. They have, that's they have different. gone the But would you do it for purely vanity reasons? For cosmetic reasons? Currently no. Yeah, what's the save? <laughs> Is it going to improve the look? No. That's I mean, the polish the turd uh kind of idea. No. If it was for the you couldn't see. Sure. Yeah, that's, but that's then different. that would make it medically necessary. Yeah. But mm-hmm. if it was purely yeah. vanity and you're like all of a sudden you look in the mirror and you're like this could be pulled a little tighter. See, Bass, have you tried like the preparation age cream, <laughs> things like that? They, they that say stuff that's does to... work. That's actually anti. Yeah, that because it shrinks s- s- hormone. Yeah, hormones. I remember right. hemorrhoids. Like, yeah. back in the day, that's what people would say. Like if you had bags under your eyes, eh, you're supposed to rub like mm-hmm. uh, not supposed to, but you could rub. Yeah. that's a bad idea. Well, you're there's not some supposed to do that stuff that kind of acts like glue that really tines it up. Uh, like almost yeah. instantly, but in my it, opinion, it's just only for a little bit. None of these work, so I would never yeah. do it to begin yeah. with. All right, next question. I want to know. Okay, so when you guys go through puberty, do you hear your own voice change, or do like other people have to tell you, or can you hear the difference in your voice? I can hear it in recordings, but in the, when it's happening, but like in the moment while your voice was changing, when it gets all like squeaky or whatever, like question. can you hear that I mean, yourself? You would, you would know when it would break yeah you would when notice it, that when it would crack but Ugh. yeah but you didn't notice the deepness no happening. because i think it's in you know it, did you it, notice that you grew because it's such a subtle it's slow, a gradual process yeah it's not right? like yeah. the movies and tv where it's it's like, one day like you overnight, wake up yeah, dramatic you wake up like, change. why do i sound like, this? like hey right. what's up all right <laughs> <laughs> well it's weird teenage boys almost speak more deeply than men do because uh, they kind of do. Yeah. I'm like when Navy makes fun of. That's what every mm-hmm. 13 through. Yeah. So my son, that Woody's son, uh, sounds exactly like that. That's how he sounds. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like disinterested. Bro. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, um, uh, man. I asked him how his friend was yesterday. <sighs> Bro. Bro. Like what? Because it's weird. <laughs> but why? <laughs> what? He's your best friend. It's weird. You can't I'm ask asking, how someone's doing. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just asking how I am. How is was that good? weird? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's so. What Ugh. did you ask? Bro. Like, mm-hmm. I did. Why goes, is it? I don't know. It's weird. Huh? 
Because I always think Woody's over exaggerating his son's voice, and then yeah. you talk to him, right. and I'm like, "Oh yeah, God, oh, just this like is that. really spot on." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's weird too because you, like, when you're 10 or 11 as a boy, you'll answer. Well, back when people answered phones mm-hmm. at the house, you'll answer the phone, and they'll, people will think it's your mom, which sucks. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, oh, hey, that's true. All right, oh, next boy. question. <laughs> Questions for the fellas. So every girl I've ever known has journaled or has had a diary. Do you guys journal? Do you ever write about your life anywhere? Or that's like for girls. Things you want to uh, no. accomplish? Or... Ray kept the Brady Bunch journal. I had a Brady Bunch. I, I wouldn't manifesto. call it a journal. I would call it a, a log. <laughs> a manifesto. <laughs> yeah. An An psycho. But it, uh, yeah. it wasn't about your personal life, though, no? No, uh, but I I did try it once when I took when I summered in England, oh. and I did my British trip. You know, my British trip journal, and I like started writing like, "Oh, arrived at the airport and headed for blah blah blah," and then, "Oh, just got my room. It has a sink in it," and I described the room. <laughs> and, oh, British people say "mind the gap," and they t- you know they say <laughs> "to let" instead of "for rent," and the loo. And then after a week or so, I thought, "Am I ever gonna read?" Yes. Yeah. So no. I, so it's a no. girl thing, huh? Oh, it re- is a girl thing. And the reason being that women are always constantly re- re- revisiting things, re-ruminating <laughs> on things. Uh, or as guys just like, okay, what's next? Let's do it. Right. I've, I've never yeah. reread something I've written down. So why write it down? Mm-hmm. Because it's kind of therapeutic. I think it helps with, I hate the word manifestation, but exactly. you know, your it's goals and of stuff consciousness. like that. Yeah. 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 Word but vomit. I've, I've never gone back and read it. I have not journaled for quite a long time, but I did. For many years. Really? I don't like have every it. day? Bring it in. Yeah. I don't, I didn't, I think maybe I have a couple. Bring them in. I'll, huh. I'll, I'll, I'll have to take well, a look. I know yeah, I got rid of a in. bunch of them because I was like, Same oh my you. God, I was psychotic. I've, I've tried and I always think like, I'm going to be a journal person and then I'll keep at it for like two days and that's it. But every yeah. time I see a journal, I want to buy you, it. <laughs> but like, what do you put in there? Like, what are you writing about? Like, what, what you have for dinner? What happened today? Or? Yeah. Well, I don't journal every day. Yeah, I used to journal quite a bit when I I used to be a more prolific dreamer, and I would do that. So I had a dream journal, not a journal of hopes and dreams, but like, oh my god, I just dreamt that, and I would Mm. write it down. I think that's the one I still have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they tell you to do that so you can help remember your dreams, understand them. Yeah. All Um, right. Next question. Question for the fellas. So I was on a website for a casino the other day. Of course. (laughs) Just like how she was been watching sports lately. <laughs> uh-huh. And it reminded me of the Seinfeld episode where the NYU reporter outs Jerry. Uh. And Jerry's like, I've been outed. I wasn't even in. And so when they're trying to convince her that they're not gay, Jerry and George, Kramer busts in and says, are we going to go get a steam? And they're like, no steam, no steam. And he's like, I don't want to sit there naked all by myself. So on this casino website, they're promoting a spa and the spa is dudes sitting around having a steam together in towels. That seems like something from the 50s. Like, yeah. Very old timey. <laughs> old guys is love this, doing that. Yeah. Like, have you sat around and steamed with your friends in <laughs> no. towels? No. With people I know? I no, feel I be- like the way they were promoting it, these were all buds like, having oh, a steam. Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. So like bros? we're on a trip together. No. I mean, I've, n- I've never even had anybody <laughs> like, thought, ask me to go steam with them. I thought uh-huh. it was a peculiar <laughs> way to promote your casino spa. I think like, like- come to the casino with your bros, mm. gamble, and also steam? I know like older guys that are like These retired. were not older guys. This was yeah. like young, hot bros. Okay, mm-hmm. maybe yeah, they're, I mean, they're, promoting they're, something else, but um, <laughs> getting <laughs> <laughs> no, get, get, that's the bathhouse. But yeah. I mean, I was just have you like steamed? No, like hey guys, let's I've go for a steam, steam, steam room yeah. once at a hotel. They had a spa, and I'm like, oh, there's a steam room. I've never been in one. I'll try it. Same thing. I tried Aided it. it. Mm-hmm. Right, same it's thing. It's like, like suffocating. Yeah, why? Well, I can't breathe. Miserable. Yeah. Hot. Oh. Like hot yoga is the same way. It sucks. Oh. Like we just let me do exercise. I don't need to be like gasping for air. Were there other dudes in there steaming? Yeah, I mean, the room was huge. Oh, okay. Were they hot? The, no, these guys were kind of like... <laughs> you can't even see them if they are together. Yeah. Were y'all naked? And I, no. I mean, I was picturing you guys together steaming, steaming. No. in no. towels. No. And no. then I thought, huh? I, no. Would this be something like... I would be opposed to it because it's a steam room, not because it would be us doing it together. Okay. Because it's all, not enjoyable. Is there an activity you could think of you do with these guys in towels together? No. Uh, hanging out at I the mean, pool. I mean, going to a hot yeah. tub or something. Maybe not hanging out at the pool. Like, it's or not like you're naked under a towel hanging out at the pool. 
Right. When you're changing your shorts, you are. <laughs> yeah, but you're not doing it actively with dudes. Yeah. Right. I, Aggressively. I, I thought it was so peculiar I, I that they're marketing the spa that way. Dude, there's a scene in uh, the Blues Brothers movie, and I think it's I think that's when it went out, like late seventies, eighties. That was yeah. a thing. Yeah. Just that. But was I, done. I think it depends on your age too, because it was like, always like old rich guys in those movies right, too. Like right. Be, they play yeah, racquetball like and then go bros. skiing. <laughs> Racket, <laughs> racquetball, you know? Oh. Is racquetball still a thing? Yeah, it is. I see. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, pickleball, obviously, yeah. is the current phase. But all the, all the CEOs and yeah. Wall, Stri- Wall Street types and Michael play Douglas. racquetball. Yeah. You know what's worse? And then, and then steam. steam together. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's worse than uh, the steam room sauna. is the dry sauna. Hey, hate yeah. sauna. hate it. What's a dry sauna? We got one at my apartment. Heat. There's What's no steam. Yeah, it's nothing. Really? It's a it's water all, on the rocks. All wood room. It's okay. uh-huh. horrible. Bench, wood bench. Everything's wood. Yeah. And it has this stove in there. Oh. And, then oh. you're, and there's no water on the rocks it's in a like, dry sauna, Greg. Right. No, there are. You, oh, no. Well, they have some water available that you no, can like, kind of like dump onto the rocks. And it creates ours has a, a, little bit ours of has a sign that says no, no water allowed because people do it and they break it. Oh, oh wow! Okay. They actually dry sort dry. But they do it. Sounds like hell. It was a dry one. Living hell. They're even worse. Yeah. Uh, next question. Question for the fellas. What does blue balls feel like? Because I feel, because everyone acts kind of dramatic about it. Like Wouldn't guys know, bro. Were. <laughs> High five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it, can very, it can get upset over it. Like, I don't know. No, to be honest, I uh, I don't know what the official feeling of that is. I've had friends who told me about it that they say it's crippling almost. Yeah. Well, you really? know what? It's like being, yeah. it's like being grazed. You know, like it's it's like if you it's that same type of feeling. So does it go away pretty quick? Uh, if you it's not like getting kicked down. If there. you release. Yeah, if you release. But that's oh. the only way to get rid of it. Um, like it won't eventually just kind of go away. I, mean, I guess it would. I, yeah. I guess it would. But I mean, like you're so miserable. <laughs> but but <laughs> to me, Greg and I looking. I, I've, I have to say, I don't know if this is what you're thinking. I've never understood what that is. Okay. I don't know Blue what ball? it feels like. Yeah. I don't understand. I've oh. never understood it. I've had times where it, I, you know, in the act and for whatever she's done and I'm not done, and it doesn't hurt by any means. No, it's, it's not, just like it's just kind of tight and swollen. I, yeah, I don't think mm-hmm. after like one, it, it's like um, it, it's more like a like a more a longer term thing. It's not going to be like you know you just started doing it and for whatever reason you don't finish. It'd be like if there was like a really long like a full day of like teasing and okay. m- maybe some foreplay or whatever but you didn't actually go through with the so like your body i feel is like almost like kind of like getting things ready right okay like so you know you're rotted up and uh you know your your factory's going down mm-hmm. there it's mm-hmm. producing all the stuff getting you know ready to deliver to you know quite a gift and then <laughs> you know, it builds up that uh it builds up that uh you know i don't i don't know pressure or whatever okay. it just but it builds up and then nothing happens so it's it's uh-huh. there and then it restarts later, and so like with the next round of teasing or whatever your foreplay or whatever, uh, and then that's why it's like it's it's more of a young man's game. The blue balls, yeah. It's not it's not necessarily like guys our age, yeah, I don't, you know. But as a, as a younger guy, like when you you know, it's like constantly start stop whatever, and then right. eventually your body goes. Look, I got to get rid of this. Okay, so you're I'm built up. Yes, uh, I've never had it painful. Though. Yeah, yeah. No, not oh, like really. It's you not? said like a graze and a graze hurts. Yeah, I don't know. yeah I, because I, I I say it's it's more like a mild. It's it's a it's a mild ache or discomfort. That's okay. the best way I can describe it. And not even it. everyone experiences it. I guess no. not. Oh, I, I, I didn't don't realize that. I never I, have. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I guess not. It's definitely overblown. I mean, teenage yeah. boys will tell teenage girls pretty much anything. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. you know? I want to get cancer. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the doctor. Penile constipation. Thank you, oh, Texas. Okay. That's a really good way to describe yeah, what I'm right. trying to get at. Penile. Sounds it's, official. It's penile constipation. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a uh, quick break, and then, Morgan, you can get uh, one more question in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, once you ask your question now, and then we'll take the break, and if anybody wants to text over with their uh, answer, they could do that, 22987. Sure, so my question is, I have some guy friends that say to each other, oh, uncut gang. So when you're making new guy friends, is that something that comes <laughs> up? Like, are you cut or uncut? Uh, you All right. friends. All right. <laughs> yes, I do. This is a matter of fact. The first thing we bring up, whether you're cut or uncut, since my crew goes uncut. Oh, wait. Oh, that wait. never comes up. What kind of friend uh, does somebody have for that to come up? Right. Yeah. That's it's weird. That's what I'm asking, too. thing yeah. I've ever heard. It's what it sounds like to me, Menace, is we have a couple guys trying to be uh, edgy and funny. Mm. Yeah. Um, and they think uh, I mean, how long have they known each other? Okay. Probably here's, since high school. Here's... Okay. Here, here's the thing. Uh, Tech says my friends and coworkers talk about or have talked about 
who is circumcised or not, mostly because I claim it to be child mutilation. So maybe get into that fun conversation. Oh, oh yes. Let's yeah. talk about that. Because nah, nah. we've, we've talked about uh, you know that topic before uh, yeah. on the show. And I said, well, look, um, you know, I, I was a baby when it was done. I don't remember anything. Right. So, but then by default, you guys would know. Rocking the helmet. I'm not the uncut gang. Right. Right? But and like, it's not like we brought it up like, Oh, so, uh, Greg, uh, yeah, I know you like right. Pesh Mode, but, uh, right. yeah. Yeah, like, uh, when, when did that come cut? up? I would love to know. But it's the, the strangest uh, thing well, why anybody a would woman, wonder. If she's pregnant, are you planning on okay. getting that he... Yeah, and the him. older conversation, yeah. Right, um, I get it if, you know, parent-wise, but mm -hmm. this is strictly, yeah. you know, a friend thing. Do Two eight says know. instead of shaking hands, we just all dock with each other. Yep. <laughs> 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 You have weird friends. Uh, three, two, three. I'm a woman who's worked in construction for 20 years as a project manager. I got a lot of my uh, male colleagues who have uh, turned into work friends, and we spend a lot of time together. And at one point, there was a group of us who always got together after work, me and like seven or ten other dudes. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, mm. <laughs> and I know their cut or uncut status from all of those conversations. Uh, well, Not like sexually, just in a simple conversation. Very. Uh, so yeah, very. how does it come or, up? Or maybe they tried to, you know, just talk about their penis around you. Oh yeah. Maybe. yeah, trying to lay some groundwork or something. Getting. Yeah. Hmm. So it's weird. Okay. Know. It's I weird. Figured. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's I have, weird. I have weird friends. That checks out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everybody for your uh, for your text, ladies. Thank you for the questions. Mm -hmm. yes, More Woody shows answering. next.